This morning I was on a hike up in the, the hills up behind my house and it was early in the morning and I saw a great horned owl on a tree. And that was really, really cool. You know, you don't usually get to see a great horned owl during the daytime, but there it was in the early morning and it, and it was looking at me and it didn't feel too threatened, so I was able to watch it for a while. And I absolutely love birds of prey, owls and hawks and other birds of prey. And they're very helpful to us in this world because they, they help keep down rodent populations and even some of the smaller raptors eat insects, so sometimes farmers like those as well. When I saw that owl, it also reminded me the last time I'd seen an owl. Unfortunately, that owl's fate wasn't very positive. I, I'd seen it on the side of the road. It had apparently been hit by a car. And so I was thinking about owls and other birds of prey and what they do for us and, you know, just in their beauty, if nothing else. And I thought, what can I do to help them out? And there's a really simple thing that you can do, and it's something I learned a while ago, and it's this. Sometimes when people are going along and they're eating an apple or something in their car and they, and they finish eating it and all they got is that apple core left, they throw it out the window onto the side of the road because they say, well, you know, it's not really trash because it's biodegradable and it'll break down and turn back into soil. But that isn't really what happens. If you throw that apple core out the window, and I've got some, uh, some uh, tools here that I'm going I'm to use to show you about that. If you throw that apple core out the window, things can happen very, very differently. So, for instance, I finished this apple, right? And here's Dad and his daughter driving down the road in their car. And Dad's like, well, you know, I'm, I'm done with my apple. I'm just going to toss it out the window, and out it goes. So there's that apple on the side of the road. And there goes Dad and his daughter in the car. And along comes a little mouse. The little mouse comes along because it's attracted to that apple core, and it eats, starts eating that apple. Then there's an owl out there, and it sees that mouse at the side of the road eating the apple. So the owl swoops down, and it swoops down to try to catch that mouse. Well, here comes the next car down the road. Bang! It hits that poor owl. And now we have a dead owl on the side of the road. But if I'd just taken that apple core, kept it in the car, and thrown it out in the proper place, or maybe composted it in my own garden, that's a good thing you can do with it, that wouldn't happen to this owl. So that's something really easy that you can do in your day-to-day -day life, is let people know, hey, yeah, that apple core might be biodegradable, but it's not good on the side of the road. That's going to be a problem for our owl friends and our other uh, raptor friends. So let's make sure that when we finish an apple or any other piece of food, that it goes in trash in the right place or you compost it at home. Because otherwise, we can end up with an owl on the side of the road or another bird like that. We really don't want that to happen.